Hello and welcome to Uncommonly Good MTG. I am your host, Dr. What's Up Doc Sasparilla Succotash Suck It. That's why they usually just call me W U D Sasparilla Succotash Suck It rather than What's Up Doc because, you know, that's just ridiculous. Anyway, so tonight I am bringing you a interesting deck I found uh, over on, I believe, Etherhub. No, no, no. It wasn't Etherhub. It was Magic GG. This is one of those uh, Platinum Mythic decks that have been doing pretty well lately. And uh, I saw it and thought, wow, that's an interesting collection of cards. Let's see how that monkey works. Because it's, you know, it's got blue in it, which I personally kind of stay away from. But when that blue brings out Coma, Cos the Cosmo Serpent... Ooh, I'm willing to make some exceptions there. And, you know, Hall of the Storm Giants, yep, that's perfectly fine. So, yeah, the, the kind of blue that this deck has is the right kind of blue. So let's take a look at what's in here. We've got, uh, let's start at the high end here. we got Coma the Cosmos Servant. I already brought up, so it's like, let's just jump there. I love this card. I think that Coma the Cosmos Servant is great. Um, you know, the, the deal is, is that, yeah, when you get your ass pounded by a Coma, you know it. And it's rough, but people know that you have just got to take it out with like a, an Infernal Grasp or something. I mean, it, it's not hard to kill Coma. I mean, she, she gains like indestructible until the turn potentially. So that's great against like the red decks, that kind of stuff. But going up against black or like white with any of its uh, exiles and stuff, you know, Coma's going to Coma's gonna bite it. Um, we've got Storm the Festival, who is, if you got the mana will help you go through your deck and find some interesting stuff to throw out there. It has to be stuff. So you may put up to two permanent cards with mana value of five or less. And that is not Coma. So it looks like you'll be grabbing like Ren and Seven or Eska's Chariot or Binding of the Old Gods. Hopefully you get one of those three because, you know, I don't think we can play Meat Hook Massacre and then pump mana into it. I think you just go out there and just be this little dingbat that just, you know, adds and loses life as creatures dies. So anyway, Storm of the Festival. I, I haven't played with it a lot. I do have it in a few cards. I played it a little bit, but it has never been the crux of any deck that I've been responsible for. Uh, let's see. So Ren and Seven, you know, I'm, I, I kind of like Ren and Seven. Um, whenever it pops out, I'm always disappointed. And then there's usually a stupid Eskis Chariot that likes to, to turn the tree folk and double that up. And that's, that's just rude as in a great combo. But I hate playing against it. So yeah, Eska's Chariot, I kind of wish they would ban this stupid card. Um, let's see, it's from Kaldheim. Eh, it could be about time. It could be. I bet you that, you know, we'll, will it make it to September? Where are we in February right now? Maybe, maybe. I I, I, I give this one, um, I give this card a 50% chance of not being banned between here and when it goes out of, out of standard so we got binding of the old gods which is uh, like i said i love golgari and this is always in your golgari decks because you destroy a target non-land permanent which is pretty much everything other than a land and then immediately you get to go get some more land yourself on the next turn and then all your creatures get death touch i never seem to have creatures by the time i get to round three i'm not very good at saving them somehow but um but if they did yeah good for them Culling Ritual, destroy each non-land permanent with a mana value of two or less. Right now, this card, as my friend Jerry would say, is money. It's the money card because there's so many card decks out there that are playing cheap-ass creatures that ramp up. And no matter how high they are ramped, this will wipe them out. Aspirant, gone. Those stupid ninjas gone it's just this will take them out this is this is going to be a money card in the mana and we people will recognize it soon i i'm recognizing it i just keep thinking we need to be putting together decks that takes out creatures based on mana value because that's where the meta is at today uh briar bridge tracker you don't see this card very much so i'm assuming it must suck somehow but it's got vigilance and it's a two three that's not bad and you get an investigate token, and then you get a plus two. So it looks like with the token, it would be a four three. So right off the bat, pretty good. 
that's actually pretty sweet for uh, three mana. So ooh, I'm surprised we don't see this more often than I think about it. Uh, Meat Hook Massacre for sweeping the board and and trying to whenever creatures die, it you know helps and hurts the other person. Uh, some sort of mana horror, I guess. Two two for two, two 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 two. Uh, Prosperous Innkeeper. I you know here's the deal. I, I have nothing really against this card, but the people who play this card are jerks. So I that's why I don't like about this card in particular is yeah jerk players. And by playing it, I feel like a jerk. Between Prosperous Innkeeper and Eskis Chariot. If I was keeping this deck long term, I would probably drop those two. Sure, they are fantastic, efficient cards. I just, I just have something against them, right? And then, of course, Infernal Grass. Look at that, so beautiful. I mean, this needs to go up on my wall, with, like the other piece of art. I forget what the first one was at this point, but man, I just want to fall asleep looking to that. Somebody needs to need that needs to get their neck twisted. Look at that. Look at those red hands. Oh. All right, and in the land category, we got some man lands, not a whole lot. We got some fast lands, and then a bunch of duels. So, yeah, I'm kind of surprised. You know, it's a weird mix. I don't know if it could be more efficient or not. Uh, it's interesting. We'll see what happens when we play it. Possibly they're going to suck, but since it, this has already made it to the, you know, platinum slash mythic level, obviously they know what they're doing. So uh, let's go see how this works and our opponent is Kayo Ishinagawa I'm not what is this is this filled backwards potentially Kayoshi uh, that's good enough Kayoshi we got three lands let's keep it Eskul's Chariot oh I feel kind of dirty about that tapped All right, so we got out a Prosperous and Keeper and another piece of gold. What do we got to raise up here? To seven to get out to a coma. All right, Shipwreck, two more land. Investigate, as long as you control a token, he, she gets plus two, plus zero. Oh, I got a token. Looks like somebody's got a counterspell, and they want to play it. Yeah, looks like we're playing against Boros Dragons. Suck it, Boros Dragon player. Don't be looking at my fish. That fish is for me alone. That's my fish. It's the Briar Briar Bridge Tracker again. We're up to then. Still just five. These things aren't anything. There you go. Here's number six. Uh, let's do a Eskel's Chariot. Basically, it'll protect the. Oh, can't be countered anyway, so that's no big deal. All right, and and we win. Eskel's Chariot scared him away. It should Eskel's Chariot is a stupid ass, stupid card. All right, we're playing against Alpha Seek. Alpha Basic. Yeah, whatever that noise was was creepy, and I don't know what it was. I'm like a like a like a frog was thrown from 20 feet above. All right, uh, I'm keeping it. See, infernal grass isn't gonna get us very far, but we'll. Keeper will graveyard. 
But I want more green, definitely, right now. Oh, they're going to town. Uh, let's play the slow one. Let's play the fast one. Let's go bind some old gods here. Bind! Alright, so here's where we have to make decisions as though we play blue. Eska's Chariot? That's probably the right choice. Let's do that. We got some blockers we can put out, and that's fine. Uh, let's see. Rin and Seven, maybe? Six mana for the Storm of the Festival. Uh, do I want to kill some stuff? What do we got here? Menace. And let's pass the blocker. Let's see. Can I just pop it? Could. And I kill some stuff. Uh, I tell you what, let's just block that guy. All right. Death touch. All right, so we now have five, which is going to do us too much greatness there. I can put out Rin, which will get us a really nice looking tree, but that would be it. I could kill with five. I can put out another blocker. Let's do that. With this, we will kill the Minister. Take the extra two. And we'll be done. Well placed uh, lightning bolt, I could be dead. Yeah, that doesn't work out too well. And done. All right, still pretty decent game. I guess it's 18 to negative three, and not too decent. And we're going against Nubsy. Three mana, I'll keep it. All right, so we got uh, green. I'm gonna go for the Prosperous Innkeeper into the Briarwood Tracker. Not sure what the me hook's gonna be able to do for us, but we'll wait. Black. I, de ooh, I definitely need to start thinking about green in a better way. At least I got that. That's good. All right, let's see. If I were to go for green, I could play the Brown Word Tracker. And uh, yeah, we'll attack, that's fine. Have a good time. <clears throat> I see a lot of ramp going on right there. This is what, Gruel Ramp? Is that what we're dealing with here? I mean, I'm planning on just meat hooking. I just needed a fast mana here. It 
See, now I was like, well, should I play another meat hook? Wait another, another turn longer just so I can make it through that. Still, let's see, one, two, that'll give me three. I can kill up to three, which would kill everything I got. Uh, but we're rolling into the Storm of the Festival. So it's a couple turns away. Okay, this makes it a lot easier. Makes it a lot easier. Okay, that's good. So now I only have to pay what, two to kill everything on board. One, two. Yeah, that's not good. No man lands. So let's see here. We're now going to start playing the stupid cycle against Lolf. I don't have anything to kill Planeswalkers right on my hand right now. Storm the Festival. Well, we'll see what happens. But I got to get six for it. I've only got four with one in my hand. All right, that's good, but... Still can't do with that. So I'll go ahead and put out a Prosperous Innkeeper for the moment. There we go. We're good to go. Next. Well, this is a little bit of a gamble. <clears throat> I mean, I don't have much else to do otherwise, so we'll see. Red Rover, Red Rover, send those spiders right over. Well, that's not good. All right, let's storm. What are we bringing in? Oh, that's it. Eskel's Chariot. And a land. Does this thing do anything? Does it uh, just makes copies of stuff? All right, and with that, we are done. I guess I could pop this. Okay, super. Oh, that's not good. That seems to be all I'm saying here. Yeah, we're just getting a lot of a lot of real wussy stuff, and that dragon is just rolling on us right now. Come on, good stuff. Where are you? That, that is just land. Let's give this another shot. Okay, super. Let's see, we need uh, 10 now for this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and a 10 in my hand there. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I'm 
left with a handful of cats and a hobbit. Being rolled, having smog roll over us on us every day. <laughs> That's great. All right, come on, something. Come off it. Come. Jeez, the freaking wheeze, man. How many lands do I have to pull in a row? Okay, Ren and Seven, finally. Up to, man, I have two permits of five or less. Okay, Eskis Trey at Fine. And we'll go ahead and pop out a Tree Folk who's going to be able to stop something for a second. Uh, I got a whole bunch. Let's go ahead and do this then. Next, next, all attack, go for Lolf, all attack, go. All right, you could do it, Duffy Moon. Here, you want me to jinx us right now? Here we go. We're not doing so bad. I think we got a chance here. That'll totally sink us. My next draw will be another land. Drink. Yeah, come on down. Come on down. I know you're going to wuss out. You're just going to sit back there like a wuss. Wait till your next turn. So I could go to town with that uh, storm giant. which sounds good. I think I already put out something, so what's the point of this? I guess I have nothing better to do, right? And uh, let's just attack with everything. I could have done an Eska. Why didn't I think about that? I'll tell you why. Because I don't play with Eska. I mean, it's a good card. It's a really good card. I just find it to be um, egregious. It's an affront to me because it's too powerful. I don't like how it's just, it just keeps creating new tokens all the time. Yeah, yeah, suck it. Sucker fish. So I think the deal is, is that I just, I have to just have two of my guys die, which in case the Mihook Massacre is going to kill them. I think what can the Eskis Chariot jump out right now? Do I have to tap? I have to tap dudes. To be able to get him out there. That's interesting. Escachari is around in such a vehicle. And there we go. We won. I, th I think I had a battle cry prepared for this, but I don't. S suck it. Oh, there we go. And uh, victory. So this is Coma in seven. And uh, it was an interesting deck. It I, I can't say that it was particularly fun. It felt disjointed. You know, we were doing stuff. Things were happening, and I just didn't really feel... I felt like it was all very clunky. 
So let's just review what we had going on here. So we, I mean, we always got out the Prosperous Innkeepers. Somehow, even though there's only four in the deck, it, it acts like there's like 40 in the deck. They just always are showing up, always. Uh, this guy showed up a little bit and whatever. He's just a 2-2 and can provide one man of any color, okay? Um, Infernal Grass, we, we gotta use it a little bit. It's, this guy's always great, I love him. Stay, stay, stay cool, Infernal Grasp. Um, me hook massacre, yep. I mean, we used it a couple times. It was okay, but yeah, the Briarwood Tracker was much better than I thought. You know, it was like she comes in. Is it a she or he? I can't quite tell. Really effeminate looking dude, possibly. Um, vigilance. You, you get your little investigate token, and then because of that token, it becomes a four, three, and you get that for three points of. of Three mana to put out. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, Eska's Chariot, you know, I have I have a, a hate-hate relationship with it. And as you can see, for me, it did not perform nearly as well as it does, it seems, for everybody else. Um, Biting the Old Gods, always a great card. Love it, a good Golgari card like Biting of the Old Gods. We didn't see this. Ren and Seven came out, and really, Ren and Seven saved our butt by putting out that Tree Folk. Saved our butt. Storm the Festival. It was a great card, but you just, you know, it's just luck. I mean, you're looking at the top five cards of your library, and you just get a pull out as, and it's expensive. Um, luckily, we were able to toss out the mana, so this had a good ramp quality to it. Coma, never saw Coma. How many are in here? Two? That's probably why. I mean, for being, a, you know, the Coma at the, at the high end, Coma is not in there, and it's not like we're fetching anything out of the deck or bringing things back from the graveyard or anything. So, you know, really the, the Hall of the Storm Giants, you know, that did us, I think, a lot of good. I mean, sure, it died right off the bat, but that was a lot of damage that they had to set aside. And uh, they had to deal with it. That was something they had to get in the way. So, yeah, it was just that um, it, was, it seemed like a lot of mana was coming out. It was a lot of mana. How much is in here even? Uh, land, 25, right? So between the 25 land and then, you know, the treasure you're building, it just it just felt like it was a whole lot of low end stuff. And that's right. We kept trying to storm the festival and just getting like lands out of it. What a ridiculous, ridiculous situation when you're pulling lands. I mean, I guess coma is really what you wanted to get. We lucked out and got like Eska's chariot once. We lucked out and got Ren and seven once. But uh, yeah, I, uh, this so, like how I said, this, this deck did well. It did well. But, man, it just, in my head, I could not figure out what this thing was doing. It was just so, like, hit or miss. So, um, I'm going to give it a, a B plus for execution. I'm, I'm going to give it, like, a, like a D for storyline. There's just no good theme here. So, yeah, if you're into it for the, for the cards and the winning, sure, play this deck. I just didn't feel like it was like it was themed well. So anyways, there's Coma and Seven. I hope you have better luck and fun with it than I did. Hey, that's it for now. I thank you very much for watching. I would really appreciate it if you could like or subscribe to this video because it helps me out a lot. I just want to remind you that you've made this day a special day just by being you. There is no person in the whole world like you, and I like you just the way you are. I hope to see you back here tomorrow, folks. Thanks a lot. See you later. Bye-bye.